We're now at Salon 504 in downtown Fort Smith, which is also home to Harper Ellis Hair Company, who distributes hand-tied hair extensions all over the United States from right here in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Tara, thanks so much for having us today. Thank you, no problem. So Tara, I'd like to start out first with what you were doing before Salon 504 and what made you take that next step in opening your own business? Yeah, so um, I was your typical 18 year old that wanted to live somewhere else and get out of town. And um, I was lucky enough to be able to take a opportunity in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I worked out there for a pretty pre prestigious salon for a couple of years. And um, after a couple of years and a couple of years of growing up, I decided that not only was this home, but this is definitely somewhere that I wanted to open my own business. So. Well, and I kind of want to transition that into my next question. So I know customer service and experience are really big for you, both of them. And I know you learned some things out in Las Vegas and brought them back with you. So can you kind of tell me what should someone expect to experience when they come here to Salon 504? Yeah, for sure. So um, when I was out in Las Vegas and of course just any bigger city, they have other things to offer as far as salons go. Um, so I was super excited to kind of bring back that big city feel salon. And not only um, a better service, but also a different experience for the customer. Um, I feel like we're all about experience here at Salon 504. So um, I love for people to walk in the door and just, it's more of a feeling than just a place. Well, and I know uh, in previous discussions we've had, you know, you want to make it to where you can trust any client with any of, you know, the ladies and, and even gentlemen that work here. Yeah, absolutely. One of my main things before I started um, the salon was my team. Um, I knew that there was no way that I was going to get to the places that I wanted to go without a really strong team behind me. Um, so the coolest part about the salon is um, I don't answer the phone very often up front, but when I do and people call in and they don't care who they're booked with, it makes my day because that was one of my biggest goals and dreams was to be able to create a space that everyone was sort of equal, but everyone was just that experienced and that awesome. So it's cool to be able to, not only do I trust my clients with any person in here, but I feel like the town of Fort Smith feels the same way as well. Well, and I think that's awesome that you can put that much trust into your employees. And um, my next question is actually about the hair extensions. So I know you own and operate your own line of hair extensions. Yeah. And can you kind of tell us just a little bit about that and that journey? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and for those of you that don't know, um, hair extensions have like really taken over the industry. Um, it's something so huge and people, it's something, it's such an a experience for people, for women to be able to experience. It gives them confidence that they never had before um, because having lots of hair just gives you just that confidence. And so um, whenever hair extensions really started taking over the industry, we started diving into that here at Salon 504. And I feel like we just had such a large extension clientele. And I loved that, but there were some holes a little bit in the industry as far as quality of the product. And so after experiencing a little bit of those um, issues with the product and the actual hair and hair extensions, I started really diving in deep on how I could create my own product to be able to offer to not only my clients, but now we have Harper Ellis Hair Co., which is a company and we actually distribute all over the country to um, our databases of about 4,000 stylists now. And um, to me, it's just such a thrill to be able to work with stylists all over the country from right here in Fort Smith. Well, I think that's really cool that when they they get anything from you guys, I mean, it says Fort Smith, Arkansas, yeah. and that that's awesome to me. And that, that leads me to my next question, which, what's it like being in downtown Fort Smith? What made you choose this location? So, um, of course, I think a little bit of my background being in working in bigger cities, I think that that had a little bit to do with it. I love um, kind of the style and the swank of a downtown area. Um, but one of my main things that I love about downtown is the community, the sense of community with business owners. Um, I love that. I just feel like I have that support from everyone here downtown. But not only that, it thrills me to be able to look outside and see the foot traffic. 
Um, I think that's something that Fort Smith people should really take advantage of is we have that such a safe and enjoyable place to be able to go downtown and just hang out and bring your family. Well, I'd have to agree. Downtown Fort Smith's growing and it's exciting to be part of it. Absolutely. And, you know, you, you have essentially two businesses that you're running now. What advice would you have for someone who's thinking about taking that next step but they're not sure? Yeah, um, do it scared. <laughs> I feel like um, a lot of people before they start their businesses and start to even just follow some of their dreams, um, you have that fear of maybe something not working out or maybe it not, might not work out the way that you want it to. Um, but do it scared and um, learn the thrill of that, that it may not always be easy, but just kind of keep pushing. Um, but first and foremost, just have that quality team behind you because I just couldn't, I could not run two businesses and I could not have what I have here without the incredible team that we do have. So what's next for, you know, not just you, but Salon 504 and, and even your team here? Yeah, so um, we are definitely looking to some um, exciting things as far as expanding. Um, we've just grown so much um, in the last two years of being open and so we're not only always trying to expand and grow professionally but um, we're looking at some some new things in the works as far as um, bigger places and stuff like that so yeah. Well that's exciting I mean I know anyone that's watching this definitely needs to look out for that and yeah. I just want to say thanks for having us today Absolutely. and thanks for sharing your story. Thank you so much.